morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. It is Friday, July 17th, and it is currently 9.29 a.m. Um, we had some technical difficulties <clears throat> with recording this morning, um, but we thank God that we were able to fix things and get things going um, again. So first, before we get started, um, welcome, 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 everyone. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We pray something is said and done that's going to encourage you to draw closer to God and to um, encourage you to hit that subscribe button and join the SIP family. If you're one of our faithful followers, welcome back, everyone. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful Friday. Um, I know for me, lots of things going on, um, but still enjoying my 18-day um, uh, spiritual cleanse, ending out my spiritual cleanse. Um, so a lot of less time on the computer, more time with one-on-one -on -one with God, and um, just decluttering my mind. So I hope you guys had a chance to uh, check out the blog. Read a little bit more about my spiritual cleanse and uh, physical detox. Uh, many of you guys were interested in it, wanted to know more. So that post has um, uploaded already and been released. And so let's go ahead and dive into today's reading. So today we're ending Eve. It is um, her prayer. And remember, you guys, I kind of, this first week, we kind of just touched basis on um, both books so that you guys can see what it looks like. The information is not too different. And then also, um, if you are using the pink book, if you're using the blue book, this is from the blue book, exactly from the page. So that way you guys can see. And then I'm going to show you guys a little of annotating that I did. Um, for today. Uh, so Friday, her legacy of prayer. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So you're going to reflect on Genesis chapter 2, verse 15 through 25, chapter 25, verse 3. Now, although you may not have read everything, just reflect on it. Put it on your U version app, put it on some type of uh, maybe Bible Gateway where they read the verses. And I apologize if you guys hear the garage. Uh, my mom is heading into work. Um, but just listen to it, take some notes. Even if you haven't read these chapters, um, just see what sticks out to you as um, you're listening to it and save those notes. So as we continue our chronological study, um, and you get to these chapters, you can definitely use um, some of these notes that you're going to just reflect on. Next, you're going to praise God because he created you in his own image, making you a woman capable of re reflecting his love, truth, strength, goodness, wisdom, and beauty. And then you're going to offer thanks that embedded in God's judgment of Adam and Eve is a promise of a redeemer who will crush the head of our enemy, the devil. Then you're going to confess your own tendency to mar um, God's um, image in, your, in you by preferring your will to his. And then ask God to help you surrender your life so that he can fulfill his purpose for creating you. And then finally, lift your heart. Find a peaceful setting. So maybe it's in your room or when you're soaking in the tub or maybe you can sit at a lake or, you know, sit at the park. Find somewhere where you can uh, be surrounded by the beauty of creation to meditate on what life must have been like in the Garden of Eden. Think about what your life would be like if you experienced peace in all your relationships. If you never suffered physical or emotional pain, if you were confused or ashamed, if you always experience God's love and friendship, let your imagination run riot as it fulfills in the details of God's original attention 
for your life for those you love. So that's a great journal entry, you guys. Grab some paper, meditate on this, pray over it, allow God to speak to you and answer these questions. What would it have been like? Think about it. To not uh, to have peace in all your relationships, to never suffer physical, emotional pain. If you were never confused or ashamed or guilty, if you experienced God's love and friendship, think about all these things, break it down, put it into these categories and write down what comes to mind. Then consider this, you were made for paradise. The joys um, you taste now are infant, in, <laughs> infinitesimal. Um, compared to those that await you in heaven for no eye has seen no ear has heard no mind has conceived what god has prepared for those who love him in first corinthians chapter 2 um, verse 9 and then the prayer is father give me a greater understanding of your original plan for our world, help me to envision its beauty so I might live with a constant awareness that you intend to restore paradise to all who belong to you. May I surrender every sin and every sorrow you um, sorrow to you, trusting that you will fulfill your purpose in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm sorry, in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. And you can write this out, grab an index card, write it out and just add it to your prayer list. Um, and you can use all these prayers on a weekly and daily basis or just have them just in case maybe you're praying and you don't know what to pray. You can grab these out as a reference, all right? So before we move forward, I want to share with you guys my iPad screen. All right, so some goodness here, you guys, some good things here. Um, so I wanted to share you guys, um, this is yesterday's Ease Promise, and this is a digital um, index card that I have um, here. So you see her promise here, and then I have my index card here. And here at the bottom, you guys see the um, image, my Adam and Eve image and then uh, a strip of washi tape. Um, this is what I have posted in the blog, um, the Etsy shop, so that way you can um, purchase um, the images to use um, digitally. You can use them, uh, print them out, excuse me, print them out and then um, cut them to make stickers, um, however you want to use them, use them to create tip-ins, but this is what it looks like. It, they come in two shades of um, color. So you have your light skin tone and you have your darker skin tones. And it comes with two pages. So plenty to work with um, in creating something, you know, even if you're gonna use it for your notes to decorate your notes and your binders. Um, you can use them digitally and you can use them, um, you know, for your Bibles and stuff. And that's something I'm going to share tomorrow, how I use these. So I just wanted to share with you guys what they look like. And remember, they're for personal use only. So um, you have to purchase them. If you need me to cut them and everything, all that information is on the blog under the Women of the Bible post. All right, and then here is today's um, reading. And this is just how I annotated it and asked um, some questions for my self-reflection. So I highlight the scriptures in blue, and then I ha um, highlighted in green the key words in the Praise God section. And then I asked, am I reflecting these? So these are things that I'm going to journal about and ask myself for each one, am I demonstrating these things in all areas of my life? Um, and then I'm, I highlighted in yellow the promise um, and offer thanks and then confess, I put Lord reveal any tendencies. So that's gonna be a part of my prayer um, over 
this um, prayer for myself. And then ask God, um, I underline, fulfill his purpose for creating you. So what is my purpose? I want to write that down um, so that I know what my purpose is and I can pray over it. And if I don't know, or if you don't know what your purpose is, then you would ask and turn it into your prayer and ask the God to reveal to you what your purpose is, um, to give you vision and, and speak to you so that a way you can um, know what your purpose is and surrender your life to him. All right. So those are the only things I wanted to show you um, thus far. So thank you for watching. Comment below any nuggets you received from her prayer. Comment your prayer cards. Let me see. Get creative. Use your creative juices and uh, show me how you guys are keeping track, taking notes. And if you're annotating, comment down below. I'm annotating. And let me know, does these help you? Um, I'm definitely going to show you everything completed tomorrow um, and also show you how I'm using my uh, CSB study Bible for women uh, to um, journal my thoughts and everything. And it's two separate things because I use my binder for notes on notebook paper and all that goodness. But then I condense it down for key things that I want to put in my Bible. And I'm going to show you guys that tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for the next video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Also remember to give the videos a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the family if you have not subscribed. And turn on your notification bell so that way you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. And um, I'm going to start doing post notifications. So when you do turn on your no post notification bell, when you click that bell, Comment down below, done. And I will um, add you to the list to give you a shout out in upcoming videos. All right, you guys. Love you guys. Have a great Friday. Bye.